Nobody said this stuff makes any sense We hooked again Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Undeniable. I am your commentator as always, Antoine Princeton, and I am joined by D.I.W.J.O. Maddox. Oh, hello there. Apparently I've been uh, dragged away from England once more to commentate the show for some reason. I blame you, by the way. But I'm here now, got my visa, and I guess I'm going to be put to work for some reason. Yes, we are live from the Rapids Parish Coliseum in Alexandria, Louisiana, which I'm pretty sure Jail Medic has no clue what that is. I have no idea where I am. I just got dragged it like in a limo like that, and I, with a blindfold around me, I have no idea where I am. I don't know. Way, uh, coming out of that limo is a DCW champion, AJ Young, who will be set for action in our main event. It's an undeniable. But he isn't just the DCW champion. He is the greatest DCW superstar of all time. Get it right, son. I mean, that's your opinion. Maybe not. Maybe I don't share that opinion. But speaking of champions, here comes the current heritage champion, Carl Wrestling's Grand Natural, Alex O'Reilly. Oh, look, this guy. No, I'm only joking. Alex O'Reilly is a very formidable competitor. He did win bad uh, tournament to crown the first ever uh, champion, you know. So. I hope to see a lot more of him tonight, and of course, before you say anything about him cheating or something stupid like that. You gonna say anything? No? Good. So, Ice Ryan is obviously holding up his title, but he won fairly, and he is gonna walk out tonight as champion still. Because he is Alex O'Ryan, and he is the best damn superstar on this roster, bar AJ Styles. Well, anyway. <laughs> he didn't catch that. You're not going to stand up for your champion. Well, anyway, Alex O'Reilly okay. has been quite the champion recently. Granted that most of his victories involving the title have been oh, shady. Don't say. Don't you dare. I mean, hey, did I'm just saying. Did he orchestrate any of those? Um, okay, okay, that's true, but you but, know. No, his fault. It's not his fault. His opponents get distracted easily. Well, I mean, it's easy to get distracted when in one of his style defenses, Devin Storm, whatever affiliation he has with this Brian Moxley character, and speaking of which, Devin Storm will be facing Brian Moxley later on tonight, but getting to this match, this will be Jacob Ace versus the champion, Alex O'Ryan. Allow me to go through what happened. Jacob Ace made a successful return recently after suffering a mild uh, concussion against Phoenix in a brutal no disqualification match of taking multiple chair shots to the head. He's clear to compete and in a triple threat match involving Josh Mason and Kenshin Takayashi, he came out victorious and became the number one contender to the DZW Heritage Championship against this man, Alex O'Reilly. Uh, by any chance, is Jacob Ace related to Bison? Uh, Jacob Ace is not related to Bison. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. It looks like different brothers. Uh, not his name's brothers. I don't, I, don't, I don't think so. One's from Indianapolis, think. one's from Michigan. So? I'm from England and I'm your half step brother. I'm sorry? Well, you didn't know. I, I guess you learn something new every day. See, we're related. Uh, unfortunately, all the talent ended up on my side of the family, so... Them's the breaks, you know? Anyway. I ought to verify that with Ancestry.com, but... Ancestry? Anyway. What? Ancestry.com. Uh, uh, you, you, pe you people in England probably don't know what that is. But anyway, um... Alex Orion and Jacob Bates tying up. And now, wait a minute. Alex Orion with the Russian leg sweep. It's the Orion leg sweep when Orion does it. I'll have you know. Uh, okay, okay, don't mind that. The Orion punch. The Orion... <laughs> the, the Orion drag. See? He's the best damn wrestler in this galaxy by AJ Young, of course. You just, you just love cheaters, don't you? I don't love... You said it yourself. Did he orchestrate any of those shady victories, as you put it? No. Well, I mean... So, I don't see how he's a cheater, thank you. Well, let's see. Alex Ryan won the championship uh, over Michael Stone due to interference from Lance Alistair. He retained it due to interference from Brian Moxley in his match against Devin Storm. 
So I mean, granted, he did not orchestrate any of those. Uh, you know, well, uh, what, what do you expect him to do? Just stand there and say, "Oh, oh, don't worry, I'll let you have a five-minute brief after that. I'm not gonna retain my title or win the title or whatever." No, not not whatsoever. If it were up to you, everybody would be hugging everyone and giving cute people presents and smiling all day. Like, everyone would be Kofi Kingston, and that would be terrible. Well, hey, I'm sorry if I, you know, like to see fairness in the matchup. I mean, I was arrived with a face buster to Jacob Base. There's no such thing as fairness in war and battle. You should learn that, and there's a sock factor. I mean, sorry, a Ryan factor. Wait, right, Jacob Base. Oh, what an impressive single leg drop kick. Oh, that's a clothesline stiff from Jacob Base. And wait a minute, German suplex and oh my goodness, what offense from Jacob Base going for the cover? One, two. Really I was right out of two. German suplexes should be banned. You can kill someone like that. Well, you know, sixteen would definitely kill somebody. <laughs> uh, you think it would kill somebody, but apparently not. Well, I mean, it'll kill everybody on your John Cena. Oh, I wouldn't. I, I didn't want to say that, but you know. No, Alex Ryan going for the cover again. One, two. Jacob Bates with the shoulder and two. Yeah, Jacob Bates again getting the victory over Josh Bates and Kenshin Takayashi. And speaking of which, those two men did battle on the exclusive edition of Undeniable with Josh Bates and the Machine Gun coming out victorious after targeting the head of Kenshin Takayashi. And, I mean, Jacob Bates recently returned from a mild concussion, but... Takayashi might have one himself, might be on the shelf for a little while. It really depends on the severity of his injury. Well, uh, have you got any doctor's reports? I think they'd have enough time to do that. You know? We're currently think waiting for doctor's reports. They work really slow. Excuse me? Oh, wait, 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 where was your doctor? Didn't you get assaulted by somebody in DIW? Look, okay. Do you think any doctor would want to treat somebody who's a victim of haze? They, they don't want to die. God, they're not stupid. You got some shady doctors. Shady doctors. I'm not the same shady. Wait, that's all right. Going up to the top rope. Sent on Bob to Jacob Ace. Two, and Jacob Ace out at two yet again. Both these men have been taking everything that they can dish out. See, Ace has uh, got the resiliency of his uh, half step brother. Anyway, that's all right. Now he's gonna let the count expire, but wait, Ace out up at two. Get it back uh, into the ring. What's Ace gonna do? You know, Ryan was telling Ace to get back in the ring. Uh, I guess he obliged, but to no avail because Orion has this scouted and he is. Oh well, that was short sure lived. Yeah, he has a scouted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, it's not my fault. He decided to take that time to get beaten up. It's not my fault. And now, all right, sent strong into the corner. And wait a minute, here comes Ace. Single leg drop kick. For a man as uh, muscular as he, he is quite athletic. <sighs> you know, if a company could hire proper backstage staff, here's a cover. Then a leg drop from Jacob Ace. This kind of thing would not happen. Do we want to be FWE? We do not want to be FWE. So let's get this stuff straight, guys. Well, if we were FWE, we'd have total non-stop promos. Oh, God damn it! don't remind me of that. There's yet to be one promo in this show. In a way, Jacob Bates, yeah. impressive maneuver. Eric Siren. Um, you sure to see Eric Siren? I'm kind of sure. Yes, sir. I think a variation of this. Okay, say so. In a way, mate. Alex Ryan, impressive scoop slam, going for the cover, two, two. <clears throat> Ace out at two. Trying to wash his hands of this match, but Ace kicked out at two, and he dodged, yes, dodged. That wildly line. with that clothesline, no, no, they see Ace, the world side slam. Ace got cast as the Flash in the new movie, and he uh, got his powers with it as well, so just so quick you couldn't see him. I mean, Ace for his size, at least 6'4", he's quite agile, wait a minute, Alex Ryan, on the top rope. Impressive missile drop kick. Talk about Ace being agile. See him, Ryan, just jump all over the place in this match. Again, Ace trying to win the Heritage Championship. Yeah, I don't think he's lost a match since uh, he's returned from his injury. 
Yeah, actually he has it. So looking to keep the momentum going against Alex and Ryan, but I think that might have killed his momentum dead by using the ropes. Yeah, that killed his line. See if one. No, Ryan whipping. Nope, not Ryan. He's whipping Ryan into the corner, and uh, I, I don't like the looks of this. Oh god. Oh, this is very bad. Oh, wait a minute. Last call from the top rope. Halfway across the ring, just throwing him like a rag doll, and now he's tying up his legs and he's going for that uh, cloverleaf there. Uh. Texas cloverleaf, and Alex Ryan is trapped in the center of the ring. He may have to tap. Uh, ref, he's trying to break his spine. That's it's not, it's not kosher, sir. It's not kosher. See Orion. Oh, oh, no, no. No, stop it. Now, Ryan two. went on ace, and uh, both of these men just kicking out of everything that, I mean, we've seen some aggressive maneuvers, and neither of these men are being put away. Oh, Wait. Grabbing the butt. Oh! Orion sending a shoulder first into that ring post, and now just choking, stepping on the larynx of Jacob Ace. He's certainly talking at a larynx. So what, does he not like hearing Ace talk or something? Come And he's just staring at him. I mean, I haven't seen suffocation when a, when a match many times, but I oh, I have it works, I guess. Yeah, if you kill your opponent, then you can still win. Don't see anything wrong with that. Well, I, I'm pretty sure Alex Ryan will be holding that Heritage Championship tight in the jail cell while <laughs> somebody holds him tight. But anyway, uh, Alex Ryan mm -hmm. with a submission maneuver to Jacob Base. Now just wrenching back on the arm. See, these kind of moves aren't intended to make someone submit, they're just to weaken them down, prepare them for something bigger, badder. Whatever that uh, Ryan's got in his mind, I have much, no idea yet. Okay, he's going for something, Jacob Ace dodges. See, he's the flash, I'm telling you. Yeah, Jacob Ace is pretty fast for his size. And oh, wait a minute, yeah. Alice or Ryan, Alabama slam. There's a Ryan from Alabama. Uh, no, it's from Minnesota. It's the Minnesota slam, damn it! Whatever. What are you? Oh, he's running off the rope. Oh, he hit him this time. Oh, no, there's Larry from Alex Orion and following up with the Orion plug. What the fuck? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> face. <laughs> they told him to get up. And that's another Orion plunge. Something oh, that boy. Jacob Ace's mind told him to get up. He's not getting up off the back. That impact from the first Orion plunge shot Jacob Ace back up off of pure adrenaline, and that adrenaline was shot down by Alex Orion, and he is still your heritage champion. This is Jacob Ace suffering his first loss since coming back from that hand injury. But if you're gonna go out, you gotta go out in style and taking two Orion plunges. Well, you can't really blame him for staying down the second time. Alex Orion has defeated Devin Storm and Jacob Ace. As Heritage Champion, who is next for Alex O'Reilly? Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm getting a back in the ring slot training. Who is me? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I doubt you're qualified. I've had a match, sir. Have you had a match? Don't think so. So shut your mom, pull him out. You got more by former world champion. You know? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. That never happened. Don't happen at all. Yes, uh, and you got a match to hype up, sir? Yes, in fact, we will be seeing this man, Double X, take on the debuting Sprat Hood. Uh, I see you've attributed the, the, his song to Scrap. Hold on a second, Scrap Boogie. Yeah, Scrap Boogie. Oh, oh geez, I'm just, uh, Have you oh. not seen the vignettes? I have seen the vignettes. I've seen his eyes. Sir. His eyes are that of a madman who has seen the death of a thousand children and store him to the sun and thought, hmm, cupcake. That's the kind of man we're dealing with here. You sound like uh, Aunt May when she saw the Green Goblin face to face. Nope, I'm done. See you guys later. <laughs> Those horrible yellow eyes. Oh my god, don't talk about Spider-Man here. Thank you, the former AWF boys. superstar. What's oh. good in the hood? My name it's Scrap Boogie. I'm one of the hottest and coolest new signees here in Danger Zone Wrestling. 
I'm throwing a party downstairs right now. I just came upstairs really quick. Just, just take a little two-minute break. Just to cut this little vignette for you guys. You know how many bitches downstairs that want to dance with me? And I'd be like, yo, bitches, I'm busy right now, so just fuck off. That's right. I tell all the motherfuck calls. I, I, I put the names down on the list. The wait list, bitches. You heard me? So DZW, again, my name is Scrap Boogie. I'm here to party, and I'm here to whip that ass. I have an old saying. Don't eat a lemon, eat a pizza. My apologies, he stared into the- see, stare. He stared into the heart of the sun and he saw a pizza, not a cupcake. And ladies and gentlemen, here comes a party animal himself, the Boogie Machine! Scratch! Boogie! Hi. Come on, Sammy, get in the mood, get in the mood! Uh, what did you just uh, call me? Come on, get in the mood, come on, who's playing? Sir, I'm a refined English gentleman, I will refuse! to get in the mood to somebody who's one letter away from being named Scat Boogie. Thank you. Hey, yeah, hey, he's an impressive scat dancer too. Oh god! Do you know what you're saying? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I want to know. Oh jeez. I mean, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure he can speak scat. Oh! Oh god! <laughs> and Scrap Boogie having a good time! Oh, wait a minute! Double X, kick his ass for me, please. If you kick his ass, I'll sign you to DIW and I'll actually try and make sure we get an episode on. That's how much I want you to win. Hey, wait, Scrap Boogie's fighting back against Double X at all. Wait a minute. Oh, that lasted long. No, Double X. No. Oh my oh. god! Brave Buster right off the bat from Scrap yeah. Boogie. Gotta give it to Double X. Go up straight away. <laughs> Somehow. It's a hit sauce. Hey, wait a minute. Oh. Boogie leg drop from oh Scrap Boogie. God. Ladies and gentlemen, this moment is what we've been waiting for. Scrap really? Boogie, we've heard him. And now we're finally seeing him in action. Oh, this is just this is just terrible. Maybe he should spend more time trying to kill his opponent and dancing. Now wait, double X with a modified Russian leg sweep. Now go for the cover. Referee counts one, two, oh, two. Boogie Damn out of it, two. Referee. But slap your hand on that mat faster. And another modified Russian leg sweep. Do you mean Japanese leg sweep? Modified Japanese leg sweep. There you go. Oh, and there's you another Tanahashi leg sweep. Oh my god. <laughs> and there's an Okada leg drop. Oh, oh my. A Nakamura knee drop. You are not doing this, sir. You are not. And Bushi Iris win. I hate you. So much. And uh, Yoshitatsu sidekick. Oh, go there. <laughs> a Kamehameha forearm smash. I don't know. Double X going for the um, Tokyo clutch. I hate you. Besides, Kamehameha is Hawaiian. So, so know your. I'll speak island. Anyway. You don't speak Obama? Double X with the gut buster. No, oh, come on, Double X. I believe in you. What That's the a hell? That's crossbody. Scrap Boogie moving out of the way. Scrap no, Boogie. Double X in trouble. <laughs> you all the names you could oh call yourself. What, why does it? Why who? Why would you be born with the name Scrap Boogie? Why was this mother born Miss Boogie? Who would? Uh, well, wouldn't she be married to Mr. Boogie? Oh no, she had the name Boogie before she was married because they were sister and brother. That's the only way something like this could be produced. I'm pretty sure uh, Scrap Boogie doesn't have any birth defects. I'm pretty sure his parents are nice. not related. Have you seen those eyes? They no, wait a eyes minute. Scrap now. Boogie goes to the top rope and a frog splash right on the double X. That was a weird looking frog splash. Oh, 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 he's moonwalking. He's on the moonwalk. Why did you moonwalk out of this arena and never have to see him again? Well, listen, that was just a Debbie Downer. Debbie Downer! Oh, wait, missing the clothesline! What a, Come on, what Double a, X. a wicked clothesline! And now Double X going for the pin on Scrap Boogie! Oh, God. Two! Oh, damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it! Ah, uh, so close to Double X! And OAMA go for a sleeper hold! 
Put this son of a bitch to sleep, damn it. Like Kenta? Oh. Oh, so, so, sorry, Ideo Itami. I will cut you. Hey, wait, there's a boogie buster. <laughs> Go for the cover. <laughs> two! And double X out at two. It's so close to three. If I if I see this guy with a bunny soon, I will I will hurl. A lot. Let's grab Boogie. Going on to the top rope. Okay, what's he thinking here? That's a superplex. I'm surprised he can grab pull that off. Oh my god! Reverse 450 splash! Scrap goes with the pin! One, two, and Scrap Boogie has won his DZW debut. Uh, 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 don't, don't talk to you, just dance. Uh, but did you? He put the laws of physics. That's a reverse 450 splash. Daddy! Oh. <laughs> it's a reverse 450 splash. No! <laughs> I, I, I've seen Adrian Neville do it. Uh, the laws of physics, uh, I guess, don't apply to. Uh, AZ Neville and Scrap Boogie. That's, that's why uh, Neville's the man that gravity forgot. He's the old Scrap Boogie's the man suddenly he forgot. You need to stop being a Debbie Downer, man. Debbie Downer, I'm just trying to restore some logic to this arena. <laughs> and, and you're <sighs> fighting a losing battle, sir. I can see that. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, up next, we will be having Brett Fortune take on Phoenix and what has been quite a weird rivalry. Brett Fortune has been thwarting most of the attacks that Phoenix has been planning or carrying out. And it, it all came to a head when Phoenix speared Brett Fortune. And now they find themselves one on one here at Undeniable. <sighs> I'm sorry if I'm if I, if I can't. With a few moments, I just need to recover from a witch I saw. Pause it. If I didn't have... If, if there wasn't a restraining order out, I would gouge your eyes out, sir. And everybody would cheer me on, because finally, there would be reason and order to this troubled company. <laughs> everybody would cheer my name. <laughs> You call Scrap Boogie the man that Sanity forgot. I think uh, Sanity might have forgotten you too. <laughs> no, I don't. No, no. Well, anyway, <laughs> Phoenix, you know, looking to get a victory over Brett Fortune. And Brett Fortune, again, had quite the impressive debut on DZW. Remember, he fought AJ Young in his debut match and won by disqualification. Oh, so when, when Orion wins by quote unquote shady methods, oh, he's a cheater. When Brett Fortune wins by disqualification, oh, he's great. What, you got nothing to say, huh? Well, I mean, see, here's the thing, though. Brett Fortune was assaulted in the middle of his match. So, he did you not hear what he was saying? What was he saying? Uh, he, was, he was just laying the smack down on AJ Young's mother. And you know, AJ Young's friends, we're not going to let that kind of thing happen. Uh, I believe AJ Young's mother was not in the match. No, she or in the arena. But Fortune was saying that AJ Young's mother looked like a uh, cup of tea. You can't take that kind of thing, can you? Uh, I, I haven't heard the sound, uh, you know, sound effects or whatever. whatever. I haven't hey. heard the recording. I, I hey, I'm just uh, sound team for that recording. You know, AJ Young sent me a soundbite and I listened to it and I was like, Jesus Christ, Brett Fortune. And I lost all respect for the man. And now I hope Phoenix beats him to a bloody pop. And that could happen here. Brett Fortune with the obvious strength advantage. And now, if Phoenix, oh, I was about to say, Brett Fortune just letting Phoenix punch him. And oh, wait, not letting him punch him anymore. And, oh, there goes Phoenix already. I know, you see Phoenix just lolling him into a false sense of security, you know. Well, since security, that security is looking pretty secure right now. Security is pretty secure. What kind of... <laughs> Brett Fortune is just running Phoenix over. See, you know, Phoenix could dodge these, but he's just letting Phoenix build up his confidence, you know. And eventually he'll turn this around on him. <clears throat> See, look at this. Phoenix now in firm control. 
getting back in the ring he's going to start punching away on Fortune and the bloody pulpitness is going to commence and we're all going to love it the bloody, the bloody pulpitness yes the bloody pulpitness anyway Phoenix now is very fortunate in the corner and now oh. See, what's it? look at all those people in the crowd what's it? oh Jesus wearing purple in support of Phoenix here tonight yes Phoenix has quite the fan base indeed he does look at them all of them they're just willing their man on. You can't see any any guys in black now, can you, apart from the ref? Well, I mean, yeah, I see, I see quite a few guys in black. Well, that's probably because you're colorblind. Colorblind, yeah, okay. Hmm. Didn't know. Well, like Brett Fortune now sending Phoenix back into the corner. And now doing it over and over again. And oh my goodness, Phoenix going back versus the corner. And Brett Fortune is hyped. Fortune showing the utmost dis disrespect here to his opponent. Don't say how that's disrespectful. How is it not disrespectful? He's just tossing him around. This is a Canadian neck breaker look? from Brett Fortune. Cover is off Brett Phoenix. Fortune Canadian? Uh, Brett Fortune is American. That is an American neck breaker. Does it matter? Chop! Block! It's over! Oh, 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 is it American? It, uh, that's called an American chop block? Well, you see, because you don't attach the nationality to it to begin with, therefore it's not an American chop lock, it's just a chop lock. Get your facts straight, sir. Oh, jeez. And things might have to get his head straight after taking that punch from Brett Fortune. Ah, uh, well, you know. Fortune just had to absorb that punch with his face. He'll, he'll get back up at his feet. See, there you go. No way, Phoenix. An impressive slam to Brett Fortune. And Brett Fortune isn't exactly the easiest man to lift. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. He, I could lift him over my head and throw him out uh, over the top rope. Quite easily. Without breaking all 206 of your bones? I have 208, so thank you. Oh, excuse you? I was born special. Yeah, you are born a bonehead. That's probably why you have extra. Uh, they're, they're a bit further south, if you catch my drift. Anyway, <laughs> Phoenix, wait a minute, what is he doing? Oh, wait, Shark to Brett Fortune. Brett Fortune awfully yes, close Phoenix. to the ropes. Do it right next to the ropes. Good job there, sir. And, and Brett Fortune, I don't think he's even going for the ropes. He's just trying to get out of this. Good yeah, job, the, the, the pain is distracting me. And Brett Fortune, look up. You're right next to the ropes. Do, do you do your talent have to take uh, IQ tests before they uh, enter the ring? Well, I mean, uh, Brett Fortune, uh, Phoenix has this locked in pretty, twi uh, pretty tight. Uh, pretty Brett tight? Fortune's not going oh, anywhere. Right oh, wait, and no, I guess he is. Well, I mean, the uh, legs of Brett Fortune had to be shot at this point. And now Phoenix, what's he doing? Oh, his elbows in the back of Brett Fortune. Driving him into the top of the back. Trying to get to the spine there. I wonder why. Oh! There's a leg drop. Does he think he's Fandango? Fandango. We've seen quite a few leg drops here tonight. It's leg drop mania, baby! Hulk Hogan's gonna come out later on tonight. Throw his support about behind DZW and DZW will die in about a year. So, well, enjoy it while I lost. I mean, we pretty got a, I'm pretty sure we got a secure distribution deal. Secure distribution deal. Yeah, of course, yes. And my name is Jamu Jackson. Now, wait a minute. But Fortune! Oh, impressive <laughs> flapjack to Phoenix! Fortune is hungry, he's looking for some flapjack! Woo -woo. Flapjacks for everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, what a cl clothesline, left arm clothesline taking Phoenix's head off. And Phoenix, I'm surprised he gave him a move, sending uh, Fortune back into the corner. Fortune was looking to hang up his dirty wrestling gear on that clothesline there. No, wait Phoenix a minute. having none of it. Phoenix with a super flex on the top rope! The Plex of Superman. Go for the cover. And Fortune out at two. You know, you gotta give it to Fortune. Oh, jeez. <laughs> gotta give it to Fortune. He's been soaking up a lot of punishment in this match. But he's still chugging along. Chugging along might stop dead right there with that DDT. And now Phoenix with a knee drop to the back of his head. Jesus, when was the last time Fortune got any offense then? Well. Well, uh, I remember every time I say something like that, something stupid happens. Uh. Now wait a minute, 
Red Fortune. Oh, wicked close line to Phoenix. It was so hard that the referee was blown away. There we go. Red Fortune signaling for the end. Getting hyped up. Phoenix oh, is back man. up, which is a bad position. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh no, got this the power We saw this earlier. Uh, Canadian neck breaker. American neck breaker. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, he's from Des Moines, whatever. Des Moines neck breaker. And now, uh, wait a minute. Phoenix just absorbing this punishment. Okay. Wait, Two. what's Red Fortune doing? Uh, oh, the German suplex. American suplex. Des Moines suplex, whatever. There you go. You don't even know what Des Moines is. It's in Illinois. It's an Iowa, you idiot. Well, it's close enough. And oh, wait a minute. Red Fortune calling for the end. And <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. He's got him up. He's got him up. I know what he calls this. He's oh, going he for the oh. fortunate oh. slam. Well, it's very unfortunate for Phoenix. I have to take that. This could be it. Oh, yeah. There no getting out of there. There is See, no getting out of there. Look at all those sad faces in the crowd of those people wearing purple. They just... Look at that guy in the front. He's just crying on the shoulder of that guy wearing orange. I mean, they saw their man lose here tonight. Well, I mean... It's just heartbreak all around. It's just terrible. I think Phoenix might have his body broken. I haven't taken that fortune this thing. Just the velocity. I don't even know if that's the word to use, but like the movement of Phoenix just getting spun around over and over again and just powered down. The kinetic energy that's built up in that kind of move can only go in one place, especially when that person is hit in a man with such a force. And uh, yeah, you can see that because Phoenix didn't get up. He's still down on the Ladies and gentlemen, I am Bart Sheldon here at Undeniable and it has been one hell of a show. Right now, I am joined by the one, Lance Alistair. And the question everyone's dying to know, just what is your beef with Michael Stone? You know, it's real funny. Ever since this company started, I've been hearing about one name and one name only, and that name is Michael Stone. Everywhere I go, everyone just ranting and raving about Michael Stone's ability, and it makes me absolutely sick to my stomach to hear his name. No one, no one since DZW's inception has been talking about Lance Alistair. No one's been talking about the one Lance Alistair. No, it's been all about Michael Stone. He's like the poster boy. And if you don't believe me, allow me to go over a few facts. He's received a Heritage Championship match He's been in two main events on Attitude, both of them involving the reigning DZW champion. Oh, and me. What have I gotten before Michael Stone? Absolutely nothing. I do one thing at his expense, and guess what? I'm in my first Attitude main event. You see, Michael Stone, it's funny that your last name is Stone because that's exactly what you are to me and that's exactly what you're going to be to me. A stepping stone for me to get to the top of DZW. And that all starts tonight at Undeniable. Because Michael Stone is going to be me and you in that ring and I don't plan on losing. I will have everyone talking about Lance Alistair one way or another. Well, ladies and gentlemen, strong words from Lance Alistair. But in one of the hottest rivalries in recent memory, Lance Alistair and Michael Stone will do battle at Undeniable. And that match is taking place right now. You know, I can feel, I feel for Lance Alistair, you know. This is a guy with such raw potential that it just exudes off him. And as soon as you see him, you know that this guy's got future world champion ring all over him. And he's right. The only time he could get into the main event of Attitude was when he got into it with Michael Stone. I mean, what's up with that? You're, you're more familiar with uh, the goings-on here, so what's up with that? Well, allow me to recap. This all started 
Lance Alistair was originally teaming up with Phoenix in the tag team tournament to determine the first ever DZW tag team champions. Uh, Lance Alistair kind of got the short end of the stick on that regard uh, in the fact that Phoenix was taken out by Jacob Ace. And Alistair was left to fend for himself against the Skull Crushers, which obviously didn't come too well. And from that point, Alistair was kind of drifting around until he recently resurfaced against uh, Michael Stone, not against Michael Stone, but he resurfaced at Awaken, costing Michael Stone the DZW Heritage Championship. And since then, he's been a thorn in Michael Stone's side. And, I mean, he eventually got his first ever Attitude main event, teaming with AJ Young against Michael Stone and Sean Stevens, uh, being the man pinned in that encounter. But Lance Alistair is trying to prove that he is better than Michael Stone. He is admittedly using Michael Stone as a stepping stone to get to the top, and he will stop at nothing to be a main eventer in DZW. Well, see, all the kids here in DZW should have that kind of attitude. If you don't want to be a main eventer, you don't want to work your way up to the top, if you don't want to use other people as stepping stones, then what the hell are you doing here? See, Michael Stone coming out here all cocky. What? Why exactly? Because he gets everything handed to him? And like, plans has to to work for things? Well, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say Michael Stone has had everything handed to him. I mean, he was on quite a roll. He made it to the finals of a tournament to get the Harrison Championship shot that was robbed from him in the first Rob place. Him. Again, he shouldn't have been distracted. On in a time. war, being distracted is the difference between life and death. He's lucky this isn't a battlefield here. If it was, he'd be dead right now. <laughs> on top of that, Michael Stone... I mean, Lance Alistair actually came out to explain himself. We were supposed to get this explanation weeks ago, but Lance Alistair came out and immediately charged Michael Stone, greeting Lance Alistair with a super kick before he could even say a word. And now Stone going right after Alistair. You know, Stone's the kind of man who won't even allow you to say a piece. That's, that's the guy you're supporting? Well, that's the guy I'm supporting because of the actions of Lance Alistair. And now, wait, what's Alistair doing? He's gonna walk away. He's trying to leave the Rapids Paris Coliseum. And oh, wait, uh -huh. but so's on this tail. And oh, what a Pele kick. See, I'm sure Alistair's got something up his sleeve. His invisible sleeves. And now, Phoenix dragging. Hmm. Uh, sorry, not Phoenix. Michael Stone dragging Lance Alistair. Back to the ring and not just Stone throwing has, him. Stone has no right to be dragging Alistair around like that. Okay, Alistair just taking a breather. Rest out a seven count now. Yeah, Stone might want to get in the ring. I mean, we're at a 20 count DCW. There's a mood salt. 20. Stone would have plenty of time. There's a standing shooting star press. Yeah, it's a 20 count. What kind of pump is we try to have matches won legitimately and as legitimately as possible. So why don't you have, you have no count on them? Hmm? Well, because the match has to end in the ring. Well, you, you know, you can just well, tell what them. What incentive would they have to get back in the ring if there was no count? Um, tell them if you don't, you'll kidnap their mothers and hold them for ransom. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's possible considering that I'm barely six feet and we have of uh, the um this guy's weight or I'm, I'm, in fact all everybody in dcw i'm half their weight and well, go maybe this we should... case of 10. <laughs> you know maybe we should bulk up first and then oh liam neeson well not I would liam need neeson. a lifetime supply of steroids in two days to be as big as kobe vincent <sighs> well you, you can always dream big never give up the fight and all that Lance Alistair with the running bulldog, and Alistair in control is better, but there's a clothesline. See, I knew Alistair was someone up his sleeve. He was just getting his wits about him, and now he's back in the ring, and he's taking it to Stone. And watch Stone just start coming back now. Oh, no, he isn't. <laughs> what a miracle. Oh, God. No, no, Alistair, run. Run. I'm going to curse you. Oh, no. And Alistair with the spree of suplexes. And I'm going for the cover on Stone 2! It's Stone on his 2. Oh my god, it's a suplex party. Just showing his dominance, absolute dominance over Stone here. 
See these pins, I don't think he expects the pin stone, he's just showing how how much of an over boring influence he's got over this match right now. He's turned stone, I'm the master, you're the student, you're my stepping stone, and the clothesline, baby. Alistair in complete control at the moment. And now wait a minute, oh he's going for a Boston Crab! And Stone Stripes in the middle of the ring, nowhere to go! And Alistair is pulling back tight! You know, at least he gets to read the uh, unforgi Unforgiven, oh my god. Undeniable logo. <laughs> yes, uh, well, I mean, kind of upside down. Well, you can't read upside down. I uh, prefer not to. <sighs> Lazy. And now Michael Stone driving the elbows into the shoulder blade of Lance Alistair. Hey, what's Michael Stone doing? Oh, there's a drop kick, and there goes Alistair! There was no need for that kind of thing. Alistair wants to be in the ring as much as the next guy. You no need to drop kick him outside. And oh, wait a minute! Michael Stone with the springboard moves off to the outside! Look at this! Look at this just dis disrespectful display here by Stone. Michael Stone in complete control. And oh, wait a minute. Come on, close his punches. Come on. And now he's just punching <laughs> Alistair over and over. He wants revenge for the Heritage Championship revenge. match. Again, I reiterate my point. Stone should not have got himself distracted. Well, Stone seems completely focused here tonight. Indeed, maybe he's actually learned his lesson. Something wrestlers don't seem to do usually. Maybe Lance House is running his. Don't mess with Michael Stone. And oh, oh wait, that's an eye. Oh, oh wait, what Lance, are you what's doing? Lance House is doing? That's a clothesline. Lance House got a little too cocky there for a minute. Gave Michael Stone too much breathing room, and he made him pay. Damn it, Alistair. You should not be doing this kind of thing. Just get on the offense and don't give up. I mean, don't give up. Don't let it up. Oh, look at American electric scrape there. Alistair breaking up the count and we're back to one. Uh, Alistair... Alistair trying to drag him to the... I thought he was trying to drag him to the post, I guess not. They're just choking the life out of Storm. You know, my uh, commentary part... Commentary partner. Earlier was talking about suffocation, hard to see that win a match. Well, you know... Uh, Ryan, oh my god. Alistair was trying in a moment ago. And Alistair with a missile drop kick. Shades of... Ryan, but... <laughs> that worked out. And Dude. Stone on it too for that missile drop kick. Oh, good, you recovered your voice. Uh, I was trying to, you know, I was letting you talk a little bit. You know, you know, because I'm not selfish. Not selfish, yes, of course. And I'm Jesus of Nazareth. Don't believe you are. Well, you. I'll be the one laughing when the apocalypse comes and you're stuck here with the rest of these peons. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you are a sick, sick man. I am just a messiah, so and that's an American next week. And now Lance Alistair is just brutally kicking Michael Stone. And oh, wait a minute, this doesn't look too good for Michael Stone. And oh my God, what a shoulder breaker! Who was going to go for a power bomb there, but I guess he decided to go a bit lenient on the poor, poor Michael Stone. Didn't go lenient on his arm. That's for sure. And wait a minute, oh my god, what is modified swinging neck breaker. Just and wrenching the neck, look at that, Alistair knows he's got this in the bag, he's just, he doesn't, he knows he doesn't need to press this any further, look at him, he just torn in the middle of the ring. Like oh, wait a minute, Lance Alistair about the stiff clothesline, you can't count Michael Stone out yet, Lance Alistair had the advantage, but that's what's so good about Michael Stone. Just when you think you have the match won, he can come back and win it with moves like what he's about to do. And oh my god, what a drop kick. Unnecessary use of energy there by Michael Stone. Unnecessary use of energy. No, see, no need for this. And look, look what happened. It's called high risk for a reason and now you're flat on your face. Well, not anymore, but... <sighs> oh my Damn god, it, I have to it's, jump block. it's over, it's over, it's done, guys. <laughs> Ref called match. And oh, he's just... Well, Lance Alistair is actually being smart, trying to take out the speed and the legs of Michael Stone. You take out the legs of Michael Stone, that brutally hinders his offense. Brutally hinders his offense, huh? Well, he does uh, use a certain move that involves legs. Doesn't he? Actually, a couple moves. I mean, that super kick, he has to lift his leg. 
Oh, that's what it's Yes, he has to largely lift his leg. But he might be lifting anything. Because, oh my god! I, I, I think that might have just knocked him out. Back superplex. You know and what happened last time? Down. One, two, oh. is he out? Yep. And Stone out at two. Oh my god. That's weird. Sorry, I, I was just distracted momentarily by your mother messaging me. She wants a booty call tonight for some reason, I don't know why. Yeah, yeah okay. You know, wait. Stone going back up to the top rope! And Herman can run up on the top rope! Unless <laughs> Alistair does not know I, where he is. I, I don't up on Alistair too. True. I don't think people are meant to bounce like that. Well, I mean, when you're on the receiving end of a move by Michael Stone, you gotta expect that. <laughs> To bounce? I don't want to bounce unless I'm on a trampoline. And Asta's not on a trampoline right now. Holy crap, it eagle! What's the frick was that? That wasn't a moonsault, was it? That was a moonsault. Jesus, I need glasses. Looks like he did a portrait, but I guess not. Well, what, what was your broadcast journalism major in college? You know, what school did you go to to major in broadcast journalism? Um, the School of Hard Knocks, sir. Yeah, okay, School of Hard Knocks. Hey, I, I met Mike Knox, so he's a pretty cool guy. Sure you did, sure you did. Actually, I met his beard. He's, he's the mastermind behind everything. Did you meet Rebel and Crazy Steve on the way? I, I tended to stay away from them, they were a bit weird. I don't yeah. like weird people. Oh, Lance Alistair with a missile drop kick from the top rope. Lance Alistair taking a page out of uh, Stone's book and using it very effectively. Now going behind. Impressive clothesline from Lance Alistair. Go over the pin on a downstone. Two. <laughs> downstone. Sounds like a band. You're, you're very funny. Hey, you're the one that said it. I'm just uh, reiterating your jokes here. You're doing it in a more humorous manner than intended. <sighs> Do not insult my comedic prowess, sir. That is very rude. I'm your guest here. There's a DDT in that. I think you broke his neck. Your, your, your comedic props would have to exist in order for me to insult you. Wow, okay. I see how it is. I'm being an upstanding citizen here, commentating DZW, and here you are insulting me like this. And Michael Stone with another moonsault to Lance Alistair. That ain't a moonsault, that's a freaking. Now, oh, wait a minute! You were talking about this move earlier, and there it is, super kick! Hit him flush on the face, and this will not do it. Stone showing his inexperience, maybe not pulling Alistair away from the road, and that could cost him. Lance Alistair very painfully lucky. Oh, jeez. You know, wait a minute. Lance Alistair again, painfully lucky that he was close enough to the ropes, because with that kick to the head, he, his lights might have been out. You know what actually happened? Alistair got kicked in the head, but he still had enough wearable to roll to the ropes and get his hand there. And Stone, Stone is an idiot for not pushing him away from the ropes. Well, you know, I'm pretty sure he was rather close to Rose. It's not like he had to, you know, stretch yeah, far he, out he, to reach it. He rolled there, you know. He's the in-ring general like that. Oh, there's another DDT. Kneeling DDT from Lance Alistair. But the second one in just a matter of moments. And I'll wait. Yeah. Now Lance Alistair's calling Michael Stone up. Michael That's Stone is dazed, confused. Uh, so what's he gonna... Oh. What, what, what? Well, that was a good anti guy Well, whatever gets his job done, and now Lance Alistair going directly into the leg. Targeting the leg once again, he's talked for a few minutes, but I think he's uh, going to target his uh, offense. And, oh, there we go. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! <laughs> Look at the strength! Look at the strength of his moves! <coughs> oh, God! Knee to the face of Michael Stone! California dreaming! And Lance Alistair! This might be put away, and he is. No rule break this time. <sighs> you know, Alistair, the top rope is not your domain, okay? Don't do that shit again, please. He went to the top rope and got a knee to the face for his trouble. But Michael Stone has finally got revenge on Lance Alistair. Revenge? There's nothing to avenge in the first place. There's quite a lot to events. Lance Alistair has been responsible for a lot of Michael Stone's misfortunes. Oh, but at the end of the day, it was Michael Stone who got the victory. You know, I'm sick and tired of your biased commentary. Stone was responsible for his own misfortunes. 
Look at this, look at him gloating. Hey, wait, 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 what the hell is this? Wait a minute! What is this? Who, who in the blue hell is this? This mystery guy is assaulting Michael Stone, and Lance Alistair is proud of it. Well, down well he should be. Look at that, Stone was gloating over his victory. While Alistair was down, out for the count. This guy comes down to the ring and helps Alistair saves him from such insults being thrown his way. What a good Samaritan. Good Samaritan? Good Samaritans don't assault men from behind. Lord knows I didn't come out here for small talk. So Carter Garrett, we have our answer. May you please come down to the ring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, during the short break we took, the Fight Heart Syndicate came out here, and they're calling out Carter Garrett. Uh, for those of you who watched the last episode of Attitude, you'll know that Carter Garrett went up to the Fight Heart Syndicate backstage, basically calling out them out, saying that they haven't been effective as a team. And he suggested that they sign with him. They become his clients. And what will the Fight Heart Syndicate say? If they're smart, they accept So, it. long story short, Liam and I considered the offer. We weighed all the positives. We weighed all the negatives. But, I'm sorry to say, our answer is no. Say no to me. Say no to me. Who do you think? I am Brad. Let me tell you something. You and your partner have been on quite the losing streak. I'm standing face to face with the two time knockout promotions middleweight champion who's a has been, who happens to have a tag team partner who's a never was. And you mean to tell me no? You see what I'm doing with Julius Jones? I am offering you a chance at success. You've challenged for the tag titles before, and you've come up empty. I know what it's like to be behind a winner. While you two don't even know what it is to win. But you know what? Fine. Fine. Don't accept my offer. But trust me, the worst is yet to come. And obviously that not going too smoothly. When it, between Carter Garrett and the Fight Heart Syndicate. You know, we all know how great the Fight Heart Syndicate are in a fight, but we now know how stupid they actually are. To turn down Garrett... Oh, wait, hold wait, on. Wait, what the hell is... Wait what a minute! The, That's the Skulls Crushers! That's Brian Penn and Corey Parker! What the well, hell guess, is this? I guess this is... This is what he was talking about when he said it was far from over. Now Brett Carisco down! See, this is what happens when you turn down good, honest men. You uh, get it, Carter Garrett is the furthest from honest, but there's a double suplex of Leah North. And the school crossers is just assaulting the fire syndicate. Oh my god, Corey Parker is just stomping the hell out of Brett Carisco! See, that's how you teach a man a lesson. You stop a mud hole. Oh my goodness, Corey Parker finally stopping. And wait a minute. Carter, oh, no! Just... No! There we go. Oh, uh, you gotta be kidding me. See, Garrett knows winners when he sees them, and he's brought in two winners. You can bank on that. I guess this means that the Skull Crushers have a line with Carter Garrett. Carter Garrett had a backup plan the whole time. Of course, he is the man managing Crazy Eyes, okay? He knows what he's doing. Uh, I don't know about Crazy Eyes, but... 
Condition of tag teams. Here comes the reigning defending tag team champions. High Impact. You know, I can't take it away from High Impact. They have been great tag team champions. But it's about time somebody took those titles off them. Because quite frankly, I'm sick of these two. Look at them in their neon freaking colors. Who do they think they are? They think and they are the current BZW Tag Team Champions. Both, te both of the teams that you just saw in that squabble have lost against High Impact. High Impact defeating the Skull Crushers in the finals of a Tag Team Tournament to become the first ever BZW Tag Team Champions. And just recently on two occasions beating the Fight Heart Syndicate. But out comes a fresh team for the High Impact and that is Adrian Dawkins, Jason Cross, the Young Bucks. Look, I'm not going to take it away from High Impact. Like I said, they've been great champions so far. But at the end of the day, I, I put that down to their offense just being something these teams can't handle at the moment. You see Young Bloods here. They run a similar style. Man, it'll be so high impact, so high frantic, but they do run a similar style. And I think they've got their number right here tonight. I think we could be seeing new tag team champions crowned them. Thank God. Yeah, you would definitely love to see new tag team champions crowned. And we could definitely be seeing that happen here tonight. But with the tag team division heating up, especially with that confrontation between the Fight Heart Syndicate and uh, the Skull Crushers, the tag team division is going to be heating up. And whoever wins this match will definitely have a target on their back going forward. Well, of course. You've got so many tag teams lining up to take a piece out of the champions. Of course you're going to have a target on your back. What a stupid thing to say. Well, I mean... I'm just stating, you know, you don't have to be so yeah, just stating. It. You're stating things that these people already know. They are not little children, so... See, I respect these fans, and like you, apparently. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, you know. Because you're just the unbiased, fair man of yes, honor. of course I am unbiased. I'm the only unbiased person here. I sell things as they are. I am an honest, good citizen of this world, unlike some people. Honest, good citizen. Okay. <laughs> Brett Zverka Rana from Tyler Hall to Jason Cross. Those two are starting this match out. And wait a minute. Jason Cross with the suplex. Lifting Tyler Hall over the ropes and now he's back into the ring. He, Cross isn't the biggest man in the world, but he's just ragdolling Tyler Hall at the moment. I mean, the size advantage definitely has to go to the young bloods. I mean, it's not too well, often that those two men have the size advantage, but... Oh, wait a minute. Impressive standing moonsault. Again, it's not often that the young bloods have the size advantage, but high impact are among the smallest men on the, on the roster. Well, you know, that's come to their advantage, I think, uh, in their previous matches. Again, like I said, I think they got style because of their size, because of their speed, that teams haven't been able to figure out yet. And that's why they're still tag team champions. But now they're coming against the young bloods, guys that, again, run the same style or similar style. And I think. Tonight, we're going to see the black guys win. The black guy. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'd like to apologize for the comments of J.O. Maddox. Well, Please well, do not, not send the NAACP after us. Well, they're not black. Okay, sound people. Uh, we'd like to apologize to all, uh, you know, people of lighter orientation than African Americans for um, J.O. Maddox's crude behavior. Crude behavior. I'm just telling like it is. You know? So. And we might be seeing new tag team. Sorry, uh, the tag team champion for Tank. Sorry for that slip up there. And now, wait a minute. Now, Zach calls in the ring the older of the two uh, Hall brothers. I've only seen a backdrop win a match one time. And unfortunately, that happened to one of uh, my guys. <sighs> he's, he's not, he hasn't forgotten that, by the way. But I doubt it's going to happen in this match. Wait a minute. Jason Cross. Oh, leapfrogging Zach Hall. There's a tilt of wall backbreaker. Again, I, w I would imagine it's not very often that the young bloods have not just the size advantage, but the strength advantage as well. You've seen it come into play here. What a double suplex. Nice teamwork there. From the new, I mean, sorry, future new tag team champions. And 
Adrian. Oh, wait a minute. Adrian Dawkins. Uh, mm, the Flash, you're a member of the team. Hey, Dawkins, why don't you, like, try and win the match instead of dancing around like a jive monkey? Well, I mean, Adrian Dawkins, again, pretty flashy. If, if, I mean, if he can be flashy and win matches, then I don't see why not. Well, at the end of the day, if he can do that, like you said, then great. But he has to win the match first. Well, obviously, I think he's going to win, but you still have to get there. Well, that definitely is possible. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> kind of, well, he's got the cover, and the oh, kick out. You can see the younger brother, Tyler Hall, come, trying to come in and break that up, but it wasn't needed. And this match has been pretty even thus far. I mean, it's too early to really say, but, you know, again, this is an interesting dynamic. Two teams in the same style, and oh my goodness, what strength from Zach Hall. You know, talking about young boys' strength, you can see Zach Hall there training the strength of his own. There's a float over neck breaker. I do find it interesting though that, you know, you got these two tag teams, two of them are white and two of them are black, and the ref is, is white. Conspiracy? I think so. Um. okay, we'll go with that. Indeed we will. See, I would have thought that you'd be standing up for your people, but... Oh no, I guess you're a traitor or something. My you know. people? You yeah, know, your people. I I'm starting to get really tired of you. <laughs> You're tired of me? What did I do? You've done a lot. Impressive taxi maneuver from Tyler Hall and Zach Hall. Again, this all started between Adrian Dawkins and I believe Tyler Hall in a match on the first ever episode of DZW Exclusive. Adrian Dawkins walking away with a victory. And wait, Hall with an impressive Northern Light suplex. Dawkins out of two. I remember that uh, first episode getting rave reviews, actually. That first episode got rave reviews. And uh, Dawkins ended up coming out with a victory. That, That's why I got that led to. Oh wait a minute, was Dawkins go, doing? Oh yeah, wait a minute, we saw this earlier. Oh my God, Dawkins, come on! <laughs> what a theatrical leg drop! But um, as, as I was saying, that victory over Tyler Hall led to the Young Bloods getting a number one contenders match for the tag team titles, defeating the oh, Fight Heart Syndicate. And oh my God, what a double backbreaker! See, it oh, one second, cover and up. Nope. Defeating the Fight Hard Syndicate is no easy feat, let me tell you that. Those two men are some of the two dangerous, most dangerous men on the planet. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my goodness! Jason <laughs> Cross! What a German suplex! It's an innovative movement. <laughs> innovative maneuver there. And I'd hope to see Brock Lesnar do that one day. There you go, I got it down the end. Uh, I'm pretty sure Brock Lesnar can't come up with that creative of a German suplex. Oh, what is in test nor, nor, nor can he withstand a backstand or a headstand, whatever it is. <laughs> he can totally do that. He's been trained with Dolph Ziggler. Are you having fun with this? I can't. I can't imagine. Come on, how can you not have fun with a guy doing an airplane like that? Because unlike you, I take things seriously. I do take things seriously. I just like to have a little fun on the way. What's wrong with that? <sighs> wait, high impact in enemy territory. And oh, wait a minute. This could be very bad. Springboard elbow drop from Dawkins. And Tyler Hall is laid out in the center of the ring. And oh, wait a minute. He's a pit. He needs a tag in the worst way. Oh, suplex stunner going for the cover on Tyler Hall. We can say no tag team champions. No, I can't tell whether Tyler Hall kicked out of his own power or if Zach Hall broke it up. Wait a minute, Carl and Rana, two, and I have the chase. What? Eric and Rana out of nowhere. Hey. The young boys thought they had the match won. And with it just like that, in the blink of an eye, High Impact retains the tag team titles. <sighs> I, 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 damn it, guys! Why did you, mm, you? These men need to be dethroned. They, I take it back. They are terrible tag team champions. They're too, they're too neon. I <laughs> don't know anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with more denial.
fucking kidding me, Shane! Ladies and gentlemen, I am standing by with Devin Storm. And Devin, why are you out there? Why are you going to out to the ring to fight Brian Moxley? I apologize in advance to the people who can see me, but unfortunately, this is something that I can't do. It's a personal decision for me not to compete at Undeniable. That man that I'm supposed to fight, that man is not just anybody. That man is my friend, my best friend. And if I go out there to fight him, whether I win or lose, I'm fighting a losing battle. Deep down inside, I know that I can't fight him. This is not what I want. And deep down inside, this is not what Brian wants. But for tonight, I'm making the decision to take my bags, go home, regroup, and hopefully Brian and I can sit down and discuss this. <laughs> Wait a minute, a match that was advertised, a very hyped match for tonight, Devin Storm and Brian Moxley, is now all of a sudden not happening? You can wrap it up whichever way you want. Devin Storm is taking the countless route out. Uh, talking about friendship and not wanting to do it, lies, he just doesn't want to get hurt. What, 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 what does it mean by friendship? I don't understand. What What is the backstory with Devin Storm and Brian Moxley? I want answers and I want them soon. Well, you know, the coward will probably tell you next episode, I imagine. He's not too frightened to show up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we need to find out soon because I'm as confused as everybody else in this arena is. Regardless, we've got a real man coming out of the ring right now. And here comes Bison. Bison has been on a tear as of late. Wrestled in the main event of the last CPG. Winning, but he was not involved in the win for that matchup. And there is some, you know, um, unfinished business between him and uh, Sean Stevens. But for the time being, he's going up against the premier athlete, Julius Jones. Yeah, I had a little talk with uh, Crazy Eyes before this match. Well, before the show, not <laughs> before this match, I was kind of hit. But, uh, you know, we, we had a word and uh, he kind of punched me in the dick. I Wait. highly doubt that. He did! I was saying, hey, Crazy Eyes, how you doing? And then boom! Okay, well, I can believe you. I mean, I, I don't understand. What's wrong with you DZW guys? Why are you so rude all the time? Oh, yeah, I'm just trying to be friendly. <laughs> well, well, I mean, it's not the smartest idea to go up against, you know, go to a, you know, former college quarterback and call him crazy eyes. Like I'm afraid of you, you pansy ass rugby players. Oh, rugby players, excuse you? Yes. It's rugby with armor, damn it. Rugby with armor, okay. Yes. Uh, th 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 this is how other countries view America. <laughs> Yes, your premier sport is for Panthers. No, that, 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 that's, whatever, that's whatever, that is your opinion. 
you know, you, you can have negative opinions about our, our, our country if you want to, but nonetheless, you're in it. Yes, because I was kidnapped and forced to commentate this. Oh, uh, really? Why, why, why haven't you left? I'm kind of, uh... Sorry, 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 no one's stopping you. I'm kind of handcuffed to this chair. I understand. Yeah, okay. No way, Bison! Distracted by Carter Garrett! And Julius Jones Distra taking advantage of that. You, you always say that these guys are distracted. Look, here's the thing. You're in a match. You know you're in a match. So you don't get distracted by outside influences. You just con concentrate on your opponent. I mean, I like Bison as much as the next guy, but he really needs to learn a lesson here tonight. If it comes at the hands of Crazy Eyes, then so be it. And remember, this was an open challenge. Uh, this, this was an open challenge from, I believe, Julius Jones the Bison. Not 100% sure, uh, you know, memory's kind of hazy, but nonetheless, both these men are facing each other here tonight. See, this is never, <clears throat> never a good idea to issue an open challenge and have Bison come out. Oh, look at that, look at that. That is how a manager rolls. I highly doubt that. Well, so what, what exactly do you think a manager's paid to do, huh? Check how many red uh, M&Ms are in your bowl? No, of course not. They're there to help you win your matches, and that's exactly what Garrett does, and does well. And, oh, uh, God. <laughs> yes. Bison, wait a minute. Oh, come, what? Oh, come on. That is just absolute. Uh, I mean, he, Garrett just stuck, but he pulled the rope. And wait a minute. Now Julius Jones. Oh, wait. Bison gets rid of the distraction. And oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is going to be very come bad. Come on, Ref, you can't. Garrett right is to the steel post. Garrett is not a competitor. You can't have... Bison running around attacking the non-competitors. Oh, but it's alright. Oh, but that's completely called for. And oh, wait a minute! Carter Garrett has been ejected! Oh. It's uncalled for. He was just retaliating after being attacked. What's wrong with that? Carter Garrett has been ejected from this matchup. And we finally, we can have a one-on-one -on -one encounter. You were having a one-on-one -on -one encounter. It just managers are allowed to be out here as it should be. But the ref, for some reason, going into his head that Garrett should be ejected. But uh, going back to how this all got started, it was um, it was Julius Jones right, who issued out the challenge and Bison accepted. Bison demanded competition, but at the same time, Bison is kind of in the driver's seat. I mean, very proven to be you know dominant as a DCW competitor. He's won a main event before, and he has oh my god, what a oh. super kick! And Julius Jones, y'all might be broken with that one. Go to the cover. Yeah. Bison is kind of in the driver's seat right now, you know. Bison has a very bright future. This is W. Well, of course you are when you can just do that. I mean, Julius Jones is not a light guy. I mean, obviously you can see that. Yes, indeed. And now Bison is stomping every area of Julius Jones's body, and see? including with the face. And, oh my God! Just oh, stepping God. on him. See, the thing I like about Bison is he can just go full on. Oh just my god, there's a spear! Kill you by trying to kill you in half! He's trying to kill him, wait, Julius Jones wisely get out of the ring. And other times, Bison takes more methodical approach. He just tries to dissect you in the middle of that ring. He can do either. Oh wait, this is a bad idea from Bison. Turning his back and oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's Bison doing? Oh my god, what a spear! Oh, I swear to god, he's trying to break him in half. He, he might succeed, but Bison is in the driver's seat. He's in a uh, quite well positioned, going for the cover. Bison's in a good position for the future. And, like, I, I don't understand why this man hasn't received a DCW title match yet. You know, nobody can compare to the greatest that is AJ Young. I highly doubt that. There might be, wait a minute, wait a minute, no! Wait, wait. That's not something you see every day, but Bison going for a body splash. Julius Jones getting the knees up. Wait, what's Julius Jones doing? Oh, wait, Bison going to the outside. Wait! Bison, watch your back! And... What the hell? He just did what he needs to do. Julius Jones has got himself DQ'd! Look at it this way. It's Bison. You saw what Bison did to Double X at one time. Yes, but at the same time, that match ending in disqualification. Carter Garrett ejected. No distraction for Julius Jones to capitalize on. And he uses a steel chair against Bison, Look. and I don't think Bison's going to respond too well to that. But Julius Jones doesn't need this win. He's just here to prove a point, and he proved it by smacking Bison in the head with that chair. Yeah, 
Julie Jones, the only thing Julie Jones proves is that he has a death wish. By messing with Bison. Well, I'm not gonna disappear with that. <laughs> and speaking of death wish, Travis Killings is walking into just that here tonight. He is going up against Eddie Roy, who's proven to be vicious in his own right. Very agile, very quick, a very unique, unorthodox style that Eddie Roy has. But you pair Eddie Roy with a sub six, uh, sorry, sub seven <laughs> by only what, like two inches? About 6'10, 298 pounds of raw powerhouse. That is the problem. Kobe Vincent. What is going through Travis Kelly's mind? You know what's going through his mind? He's what's going through his mind is that shit, I can't solve this problem. He's coming into this match, it's a handicap match against two of the best wrestlers in this company and and just a pure unadulterated monster in Kobe Vincent. Does he think he's got a chance? If he does, he's a madman. He must be a madman, but I do understand his reasoning at the same time. Eddie Roy and Kobe Vincent have consistently been the two biggest thorns in the side of Travis Killings. And Travis Killings tried to take out one, didn't work. Travis Killings tried to take out the other, didn't work. So now, you think that he's got them both right where he can see them. And he can get past them to finally get back to with AJ Young because he definitely has some unfinished business with him. But surely this is tactics 101 here. If you can't take out these guys separately, what? What? <laughs> can make you think you're going to take them out at the same time? I don't know, but you know, I, I understand what Tyson is trying to do, but I do not envy him at all. <sighs> You know, at the end of the day, there's only one conclusion that this match is going to conclude with. And I'm a lyrical words Mr. Brown. But you understand what I mean. There's only one thing that's going to happen at the end of this match. And that's going to be Travis Killings lying flat on his back, like an idiot. I you can't say he didn't bring this on himself, because he did. Well, I mean, I wouldn't count Travis Killings out just yet. He fought himself out of hard situations in the past. Remember, beforehand, no one was thinking about Travis Killings. And all of a sudden, he fought himself. He fought his way to the first ever DZWCPV against AJ Young. Although he didn't come out in a winning effort, it was due to this man. And ladies and gentlemen, allow me to say, Alexandria, Louisiana, we have a problem. <laughs> look at look at this BMOF right here. He is not a normal human being. This man is six foot ten. God knows how much he weighs. But that all of that, every single last pound of that is muscle. Even his brain is muscle, okay? That's that's how built he is. Look at he's he can look at every single person in this arena and no. No, he could kick every single one of their heads off. Hell. <laughs> he could do it to me easily. And uh, you know, I pride myself as a decent side. At least I've been in the ring like some people sitting beside me. Anyway, Kobe Vincent is very dangerous. He has yet to be pinned in Danger Zone Wrestling thus far. He has beaten the likes of Devin Storm. He even fought Sean Stevens, fought him to his limit. And just, this man is an absolute monstrosity. There's no words to describe the predicament Travis Kidding has got himself in. You know my opinions on it, but I, I think it bears reiterating again. You have Eddie Roy, one of the best up-and-coming talents in this company. You have Kobe Vincent, one man who has never been pinned or made to submit in DZW. It doesn't matter how good Travis Killings is. I doubt even the myriad of core legends wouldn't be able to overcome these odds. Quite frankly, Travis Killings is as far from being a core legend <laughs> as Antoine Princeton is. So... Excuse you. Your excuse. I mean, Eddie Roy just getting in his face and oh wait, Travis Killings making him pay. Not smart at all. Travis Killings just going for it early on. That's a close line. And wait, Travis Killings going straight after the problem and fighting the both of Vincent gets out of the way. But Vincent is in the ring. Oh, sorry. Travis Killings is in the ring with Eddie Roy. And exactly. Kobe Vincent is not in the ring. Travis Killings should not be going off. I mean, but Travis Killings has to, you know, make sure 
that he bounces his energy. Remember, this is a handicap match. Anything that a, any big advantage that Eddie Roy or sorry, any big or little advantage that Eddie Roy gets over Travis Killings, all it does is hurt Travis Killings, considering that he has a monster on the other corner. The only way I can see Travis Kings win this, and this is no offense to Eddie Roy, but I think he has to keep Eddie Roy in that match. He can't allow Roy to tag out. I mean, Eddie Roy is no slouch, but at of the course. same time, Travis Kings has a much better chance against Eddie Roy than he does against Kobe Vincent. Oh my god, look at the strength! It's a military Jeez. press. I mean, then again, even if Kobe Vincent has a sand people clutch, even if Kobe Vincent doesn't get in this match, yeah, which wait, he is like, speaking of that, <laughs> you know, he, you still have his presence looming on the apron, but I wouldn't want to have those eyes locked on me. And that's exactly what happened. And wait a minute, Kobe Vincent buying Eddie Roy time, and although I don't agree with this tactic, it is smart. And oh wait, what's Eddie Roy doing? Look, unbiased commentary. A oh, right-handed shot. I am not biased. Not biased. That's the first unbiased thing you said all night. I just call out what is just and unjust. Just and unjust. You don't even know the meaning of the word justice. I've watched the shield from 2012 to 2014. I, I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <sighs> yeah, so you need to get some more new material, you know? Maybe you need to, you know, leave. Wow. No, so, no, no one will miss you. So you guys hire a private jet, put a bag over my head, stick me in a limousine to oh get me God. here. Uh, uh, we, we did no such thing. You showed up on your own. You asked for this commentary job. I don't even know where we are. Uh, apparently with DIW schedule, you were short on work. Short on work. I love being short on work. Just sitting around lounging all day. At least I won't be killed by two black guys. Ladies and gentlemen, just please take his comments with a grain of salt. And oh my god! Oh, How fast can a man be twisted? Apparently very fast if you're the man doing the twisting is Kobe Vincent. We were talking earlier and now Kobe Vincent is in this match. <clears throat> and oh, all hell. Oh my god, the shoulder block. Ladies and gentlemen, Travis Killings is definitely in massive danger right now. And oh my god, it's another shoulder block! How could you take any man's shoulder, let alone the shoulder of Kobe Vincent, straight to the midsection twice? Well, there's a reason Travis Killings is on the ground writhing in pain. Right and, and, and think about it. Even if Travis Killings manages, manages to get the upper hand on Kobe Vincent, you still have a fresh Eddie Roy. And oh my god! <laughs> Freaking clothesline turned Travis Killings inside out. But as I was trying to say, <laughs> even if Travis Killings manages to get past Kobe Vincent, manages to get the advantage over Kobe Vincent, all Kobe Vincent has to do is make the tag to Eddie Roy, who is currently catching his breath, currently, you know, regaining, uh, you know, any lost, uh, you know, energy that he had. And now Kobe Vincent now wrenching on the leg of Travis Killings. Single leg lock there. By Kobe Vincent, he's not. I don't think he's known for his submission holes, but you know, wearing down the legs, wearing down. If you can wear down his body, it makes it increasingly difficult for Travis Killings to survive this match, let alone win it. And the other thing, Travis Killings is going up against a perfect combination of power and speed. Well, you know, um, I don't. You need a third person to be power and speed. Power and speed. Uh, let's see. Force. Speed force. Oh no, wait, AJ. I forgot about that. Yeah, I do have three people. Alright. Yes, I do have three people. Yeah. This is not what that is about. And wait a minute, Kobe Vincent. Now, they go for a suplex. Just Jeff showing back in the ring. He is back in the danger zone, no pun intended. Look, he didn't need to throw him out of the ring. He didn't need to put him on the apron, but he did just to show how strong he really is. Like, Tag he into a fresh Eddie Roy. And oh, wait a minute. Wait, what the, what the hell? <laughs> what the love of God? A Hurricane Rana from Kobe so, Vincent! Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what have I seen? So I think Kobe is officially the scariest man on the planet. Anyone want to disagree? No? A six foot ten man can 
do a Hurricane Rana. You think that Eddie Roy would have been the man doing the Hurricane Rana and Vincent would have been doing the power bomb. But that is how dangerous Kobe Vincent is. Come down. I, I've called plenty of his matches and not until now have I ever known he could possibly pull off a Hurricane Rana without breaking his neck in the process. Well, I guess Kobe Vincent has a lot up his sleeve that he just hasn't shown yet. And the fact that he doesn't need to show off the stuff he can probably do is scary in itself. Kobe Vincent wrestles a very, very simple offense. He's not exactly Bret Hart in the ring, but Kobe Vincent does not need to have a massive repertoire. He is simple and scary. Oh, I'm not going to disagree with that. And wait a minute. Eddie Roy, go for the cover. And how is Travis Killing still fighting? That is the main question I want to know. <laughs> Wait, there's well, a see, modified Russian leg sweep. There's a difference here. He's not fighting. He's surviving at the moment. And he's surviving very poorly. But can he survive this camel? Uh oh, thank God. It's like he's under the rope. Otherwise, you might be seeing Eddie Roy and Kobe Vincent having their hands raised. So only a matter of time now. Like emulating his uh, partner. Eh? I, I, I still can't get over that. There's a <laughs> leg drop on the top rope. Go for the cover on Travis Killings. Two. <laughs> That's going to be on some highlight. Every man has his limit, but like you said, Kobe Vincent is officially the scariest man in car wrestling. Again, I, I find myself agreeing with you a bit too much for my liking right now, but... Oh, please, not, know, again. please not again. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> There's that big elbow getting driven into the back of Travis Killings. And think of this, Kobe <laughs> Vincent is fresh. Kobe <laughs> Vincent is fresh. Fresh Kobe Vincent is death on legs. I just don't understand this. What has possessed Travis Killings to, I mean, considering he made this challenge. So you think I was being over dramatic at the beginning of this match, saying he had no chance? No, no, no. It's, oh my god! <laughs> Travis so. Killings landing on his neck after a vicious German suplex from Kobe Vincent. And when's the last time Travis Killings has had offense? I don't even remember. Does somebody want to write his obituary now, or should I do it? <laughs> it's just looking pretty bad. And oh, wait a minute. Oh no. Oh, oh no, if he's doing what oh, I think he's doing. Oh my god. Oh my. I think he just landed on his wrist. Maybe he's back. I don't know. That move happened so fast. I don't know what he landed on. You don't need words to describe how dangerous, how powerful Kobe Vincent is. He's just wait, showing it right now. slam. One of Kobe Vincent's signature maneuvers. And wait a minute, he's gonna tag in Eddie Roy! Giving the youngster time to, chance to shine here. It is an elbow drop on the top row. Eddie Roy might be taking this match home for himself and Vincent. Go over the cover. One, two, oh. what? No, okay, Killings. I get it. You're you're brave. You're hot you're hardy. Whatever. Not Danny Hardy. But for the love of God, just stay down. I mean, when I'm sympathizing with you, you know there's a problem. And not Kobe Vincent. Well, it is Kobe Vincent, actually. Oh my goodness. Wait, Eddie Roy missing the mark. I think he might have caught his foot on the shoulder of Travis Killings. But Travis Killings has yet to move. <laughs> Eddie Roy, there's no need to be doing this. You have this one. Don't. I think he kind of did follow your advice with, oh wait, this could be very bad. This could be very wait bad. But how much does Travis Killings really have left in the tank? Well, I think we're about to find out. Oh, wait a minute, there's a clothesline. Oh, wait a minute. Jesus, look at this, look at the strength. And oh, how wait much, a minute. How much punishment has he so tough in this match? And he's still going. Don't understand why the referee went for the pinfall, but... Neither do I. Nonetheless, kind of <laughs> Travis Killings in control of this match yet again. I think, I think Travis Gillings was just trying to catch his breath. He wasn't even intending to go for the pitfall. He just needed, needed a moment, needed a breather. You can, you can hear these, this crowd cheering for Travis Gillings, and you know what? I can't blame them. No, wait a look minute. Travis Gillings, oh my god, look at the strength. There's a suplex to Kobe oh, Vincent. Uh, Kobe Vincent straight back up. Oh, wait a minute. And speaking of straight back up, Eddie Roy rolled out of the ring. Oh, wait, this could, this, okay, this could be very bad. No, this could be very, very it's bad. Clear. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, wait a minute. Travis Gillings is fighting off the problem! 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And that's a close line! I, I don't believe this. Travis <laughs> Gillings is pulling off a miracle comeback against Kobe Vincent and Eddie Roy. Trying to get rid of the two biggest thorns in this side. And oh, wait a minute. What is he doing? Oh my god. What? What the? What? No, no, no. Oh what my god! god. Fall away slam! A super fall away slam at that. Hey, wait! Yo, what I've Kobe Vincent away? seen some things in my time, but if Travis King somehow managed just to pull us out of the bag. Yeah, this is just absolutely monumental. And oh, wait a minute. Travis King with the head butt to the back of Kobe Vincent. Anything that he can do to win this matchup, Travis Gillings will do it, especially against two men. Consider that one of them is Kobe Vincent. But you can see Eddie Roy there, he didn't even try and get in the ring. Look at the confidence he has in his tag team partner, you can't blame him. Hey, wait a minute, Eddie Roy pushing Travis Gillings off the top rope, and that is uncalled for. He's pretty happy about it. I mean, now, Travis Gillings is just helpless yet again. You say that was uncalled for, but look, look, it helped Vincent get back in the game. So, you know, it got the job done. And, oh no, please, I've seen this before. Oh, oh my god! Oh, okay, this oh, is just scary. God. This is absolutely scary. Um, the only type of person that doesn't move like that is a person who doesn't give a crap about the other guy's health. Wait, we've seen this before! Death Valley Driver from Kobe Vincent! Straight on the back. Of a neck there. Again, yeah, Travis Gillings has lost the match to Kobe Vincent before, but and he could lose one to him again tonight. And he run over the pitfall. And Travis Gillings, how is he doing this? This is a flapjack. I, I'm I'm lost for words. I can't understand how he his body hasn't given up yet. Not just him. His body must be screaming in agony right now. But he is still managing the fight. And oh my God, what is he doing? Wait a minute. That's a super flash from the top rope! I can't. Every breath he takes, every step he takes in that ring must be painful. And yet, look at him. Look oh, at him go. for a bear hug on Eddie Roy. Eddie Roy can very well tap up. Tap, tap, tap. Tap out. Tap up, baby. Wait, Jazz going to try to get a piece of Kobe Vincent. Oh, wait, that cost him. That cost him very dearly. That, that could have cost him the match there. You can hear the crowd just trying to will Killings back into this match again. And we go for a roll up. <laughs> and Eddie Roy out pretty quickly. And oh, wait a minute. Jeff's going to the floor over DDT. I believe Eddie Roy's trying to make the tag. Kobe Vincent. And wait a minute. Wait, wait. Big he just right on for Kobe Vincent. Wait, wait a Can I call that the black hand? I want to call that the black hand. Now wait a minute. Now Travis Gillings is not letting Kobe Vincent get in the ring. I... He's... <laughs> just, just three headbutts. Some barbarian shit. <laughs> I think we and I are both lost for words. And oh wait a minute. I was going to have very badly wave of miscommunication oh. between Kobe Vincent and Eddie Roy. And Eddie Roy, you know, Luckily, did not go through the announce table. I just caught a flash of Kobe Vincent's face, and you can see how livid he was. That Roy overshot that. I mean, like I said, he very nearly crashed through the announce table. That would have been very bad. That this match would have become a one-on-one -on -one match really quick. And now Eddie Roy trying to regain his breath. And, oh wait a minute! Oh, oh wait my a minute! God. And Eddie Roy just grazing. Travis Killings! That's, that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the fact that Travis Killings just threw Kobe Vincent like he was a rag doll. And oh, wait a minute. Kobe back up. Now the problem throwing Travis Killings back into the ring. And now Eddie Roy taking advantage. But oh, wait a minute. What's Travis Killings up to? And oh, wait a minute! And there's a five buster and Travis Killings is getting fired up. Look at him. Look at the, look at the fire in those eyes. He can sense victory. And oh, hey, victory might not be happening if he's going after Kobe Vincent, though. Stick on the man that's in the ring. Worry about Kobe Vincent when, you know, the time comes. But wait a minute. Travis is not following my advice at all. He's going to go right after Kobe Vincent. And wait a minute. He wait a minute. Fork. TKO. Oh, oh. Wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
He he got got it. Look at my strap! I don't know! How, How is this? Is that guy coming, Vincent? No, no, you've got to be kidding me! Wait a minute! One! Boy, two. you've had enough time! Come on! Hey! Double kill has won this match! Against all odds! Look, if you know me, you know that I don't like Travis Killings one bit. But after that match, I have all the respect in the world for Travis Killings. How he managed. This guy, this guy in the ring right now is a bona fide star. There are, there are a handful of people in core wrestling today who could go in the ring with Kobe Vincent and Eddie Roy and not just go toe to toe with him, not just that, but actually win. I'm off words after that match, and just to think, we still have one more to go. Jeez, I don't think I'm prepared for any more off the bat. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a special okay. announcement coming up from Jay Crack. He has announced a major acquisition for Danger Zone Wrestling. We are about to find out who it is. Gentlemen, it all comes down to this. I am joined by the challenger for the DZW Championship tonight, the submission specialist, Sean Stevens. Sean, this has been quite a roller coaster ride for you as you find yourself challenging for the DZW Championship once again. If you win tonight, you make history. You become the first ever two time DZW Champion. How does it feel to know what is on the line tonight? And can you reclaim the gold? You know something, boy, this has been a roller coaster ride. You're right about that. I feel like just a week ago, I was DZW champion, holding the title high after bleeding and fighting and scratching and clawing in this battle royal. And all of a sudden, it was taken away from me in the blink of an eye. Every single curveball imaginable was thrown in my way, whether it's AJ Young and his minions, or whether it's random street dwellers that decide to attack me. But nonetheless, I'm still here. I'm still standing. I'm still fighting. AJ, you've thrown everything in my way, but this whole thing, it ends tonight. No more distractions, no more BS. Tonight, it's you and me in a steel cage, which means I can beat you. I can destroy you all I want. Hell, getting the pin doesn't even matter in this match. All I had to do is climb over that cage. And when my feet touch the ground, I become the DZW champion for the second time. And the Asia Young Empire falls before me. And it falls at the hands of Sean Stevens and AJ then, and only then, will you realize that Sean Stevens is for real in DZW. Then, and only then, will your empire start to crumble. Because I'll be taking the one thing that matters to you the most. The DZW Championship. And who knows? Maybe when I win this, I'll give people a shot that were robbed. Like Travis Killings. I'll give people a shot that, you know, deserve it. I'll be a fighting champion. I won't hide behind a 6'10 bodyguard and a Cat Williams wannabe. I will fight. I will continue to fight. I will fight the good fight. 
for DZW and its fans. Because I am promising tonight that you will have a new DZW champion. And that title will finally be where it belongs. not enough nobody said this stuff makes any sense we hooked again the point of no return see how the buildings burn light up the night such a pretty sight Ladies and gentlemen, it all comes down to this. The biggest rematch in DCW to date takes place here tonight and undeniable in a steel cage. You know, I'm just still trying to recover after the previous match and you know that result's gonna be playing on AJ's mind tonight. And the he, other he, thing, uh, you know, this, this almost guarantees that Travis Millers could be next in line for the DZW title. Sean Stevens is guaranteeing that, you know, he'll give a shot to Travis Millers if he manages to win the title. I don't think AJ Young would be too happy about that, you know, if he wins this match. But at the same time, Travis Millers did push himself ahead against all other contenders by winning that matchup. Well, the decision about no more contenders out of uh, AJ's hands now. I mean, Mr. J. Crack, Mr. Yeah. Uh, is in charge of that kind of thing now, and I'm sure he saw what is probably go down and is one of the greatest victories, not just in DZW history, but in core history. And name Travis Killings as number one contender against whoever wins this match. <coughs> AJ. Yeah, don't count anybody out just yet. And you know, funny, funny, you say I'm by the other one that you know predicts the winners before the match happens. Based no, solely off of your taste or distaste for uh, no, it's it's based off of who is the better talent. Just so happens that I've been wrong most of the time tonight for some reason. But you know, so everybody you has. Don't be wrong match. about this match. I doubt that somehow. Oh, oh, okay, okay, we'll go with that. But nonetheless, we have breaking news as was just revealed a few moments ago. Caleb Blair is J. Crack's new major acquisition to come to Danger Zone Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, that is huge. With, with all that's going on right now, Sean Stevens, AJ Young, Travis Killings, Kobe Vinson, and we have added Caleb Blair to the mix of DCW talent. This is a major acquisition indeed for the regime of J. Crack. Yes, major acquisition. I'm so pumped. For Caleb Blair, you know. Totally. You know, when Caleb Blair comes down to DZW, I think he'll realize when he has to fight guys like Kobe Vincent, AJ Young, Travis Killings, Bison, he'll realize that he's a bit out of his depth, I think. Oh, don't get him, count him out before he comes here. This is a pretty huge signing, but this is also a pretty huge match. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment we've been waiting for for too long. Since the second edition of DZW Attitude, we have been waiting for Sean Stevens to get his DZW Championship rematch against Asia Young, and that is coming to fruition here tonight. Yes, maybe we can stop complaining now. As long no. as everything, as long as Sean Stevens can get his hands on AJ Young, that will be no problem to me. I still don't understand why this match is a steel cage. 
Uh, Kobe Vincent and Andy Roy are AJ Young's friends. Are friends not allowed to watch and stand by their their brother? But they done more than stand by. They practically got involved in matches. Well, you know, friends help help their friends any way they can. And Sean Stevens is trying to deprive them of that right. It's a basic human right that should be ashamed of himself. He's not ashamed of himself right now. He's having a time of his life. He finally has his hands on AJ Young here. Or, uh, wait a minute. Mm. I was saying AJ Young has his hands on him. But wait a minute. Mm. Uh, Sean Stevens. Shut up. Sean Stevens. Now has AJ Young in a uh, uh, grappling hold. Mm. Now Sean Stevens has control. You know what? I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> Well, if you didn't have to mix everything so innuendo then I wouldn't be doing that. If you didn't, you know, you know, get, if you didn't have your mind in the gutter. My mind is pure, so. You're I'm something, but I'm pretty sure it's not purity. Wow. How rude. Anyway, now that uh, I have control of the booth for a moment. Sean Stevens going go to the middle rope and geez, just a straight mule kick. And now Stevens, like he said earlier, the aim of this is to plant both of your feet onto the ground outside, and that's how you claim the title. And now AJ Young just dragging him down and going down with it, but he looks like he got the better of that. Now Stevens on the ground, AJ Young sensing it's his chance, it's his time. To climb out and he's almost at the top and no AJ oh. Young too smart for that. Not Sensing Sean Stevens was right behind him and oh wait a minute. Who just interrupted me like that? Oh my god, y'all interrupt me if I want to. Sure, you're getting it. You've been quite rude to me tonight, sir. Quite rude. I have just been a very decent human being to you. So you can't take I'm sorry if your mama didn't teach you manners, sir. In the, in the house of Princeton, we were taught manners very well. Yes, sir, a silver spoon stuck in your mouth. And million dollar wads coming out your ass. Now, let's get back to the match, because that's what we should be calling. Well, I was calling it until somebody just kind of... Oh, look at me, I'm Antoine Princeton. Okay. Now, AJ Young has Sean Stevens in the corner. Now it's kicking him in the midsection. Oh my god. Wait a minute. It's a young with a drop kick to the chest of Sean Stevens. So they could have done some internal damage. I mean, Stevens looks like he's in serious pain. You know, wait <laughs> be a terrible. Hmm, this looks for me. Already with the double arm DDT. He's not wasting any time here. We're already trying to get out of the cage. AJ Young trying to get out of there as fast as humanly possible. He wants no part of Sean Stevens. And oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Sean Stevens at the moment is just a crazed human being setting him sights on his sights on one thing, one thing only is that is to hurt AJ Young. But the thing is, what does he want more? Does he want to hurt AJ Young? Or does he want to take the title? But the thing is, by taking the title, you do hurt AJ Young, but I think Sean Stevens wants physical pain. Mm. You need to stop. <laughs> we wait, Louisiana Dungeon, right there. Anyway, there's a double arm DDT. Using double arm DDT of his own. Oopsie. There's a knee to the head of uh, AJ Young, as uh, you know. Dale Matt, it looks like he dropped his water bottle. This is the same water. What? You know what? I don't want to know. Hey, I needed to use the loo. There are no toilets out here, so I have to do what I need to do. What disgusting. Eh, I'm just sensible. Anyway, and oh, wait a minute. Josh Stevens! What the Ding super dong. kick? Ding dong, not really on high. Right to Wonder the face, and AJ Young is in La La Land. I wonder if Sean Stevens is taught stone now. No, wait a minute. What's AJ Young doing? Wait, wait pulling Sean Stevens oh. back down. That's a nasty fall. He's calling to all his peeps in the crowd. All his youngsters in the crowd. What's he doing? Wait, going to... The... Oh my God, there's a cross oh, flash on the other side of the ring. Stevens just got right back up. Sean 
Stephens, the inner fire, telling you to get back up. And wait a minute! There's a fisherman buster! John Stephens finishing maneuver, this early to the matchup, and we could be seeing a new DZW champion if Sean Look Stevens can make it out of that cage. Look at the, the size of the crown. Time. No, don't climb. Look at the size of the crown. I said no. No, we don't want this. Come we on, want Sean. AJ winning. It's so close. Come on, Sean. Oh, come on. No. AJ Young is not going to go down that easily. There's a reason he is still DZW champion. Yes, by stealing, by conniving, the by plotting. You're stealing, you're conniving, you're plotting is my tactics, my intelligence. It, oh my it's god, what an impressive maneuver from AJ Young. Whisper in the wind. But you like to go on about how these guys cheat and whatever, but there's a thing called the brain, and some guys use it. Why, why, you know, insult them for using something that everybody has? Because they don't always use it for good. Use it for good. They use it to win. And that's the only thing that matters in this business. Winning matters, but, you know, it does also matter, matter if you do it the right way. And, oh, my God, Charles is trying to splatter AJ Young's brains right. against that steel cage. Just so naive. Just, uh, there's no right or wrong way. There's only winning. There's only titles. There's only standing toward the end of the day. Wait a minute. There's a pile driver from Charles Stevens. Looks like Stevens might be learning now because he just busted out a power driver. And AJ Young has been motionless thus far. And you can see him just very out of it. And wait a minute! Press the springboard move from Sean Stevens. Springboard reverse DDT. Now going up to the top rope. And following it up with an elbow drop. Stevens just all over AJ now. I think he might be rattled by that power driver a moment ago. Of course, we all know that pod drivers are legal maneuvers and you shouldn't be allowed to use it. Oh my! Oh! Sweet Jesus! Just bouncing him off that steel cage there. And AJ Young is down. Shaw Stevens taking time to relish the moment. It's the first time. This is actually. The, sorry, not the first time, but the longest time he's had his hands on AJ Young in months. Mm. But. If he was smart, he would be climbing that cage faster than a monkey on steroids. But apparently, he is not, so... And again, here's what comes into play. What matters to Sean Stevens more? Hurting AJ Young or winning the DZW title? That can cost him. If Sean Stevens gets too focused on inflicting pain upon AJ Young, you could be seeing AJ Young walk out or maybe even crawl out with the DZW title still intact. Sean Ste oh geez. Wait, wait a minute. I was, I was about to say Sean Stevens' blood loss could get the best of him there, but... And he's <laughs> been consistently kneeing AJ Young in the face. And I believe AJ Young is busting wide open. Yeah, it paid dividends and AJ Young is now busting. And wait a minute, the cage door is open! Come on, guys. That Come superplex on, knocked the cage door open. And now AJ Young is trying, trying to crawl to Shaw Stevens. This is just a game of cat and mouse at, at this point. Both these men have had a lot taken out of them, but I, I would have thought AJ has had the worst of it so far. And Shaw Stevens trying to crawl. AJ Young gaining ground. That might have taken a lot out of both men. AJ Young can barely see as a blood is just rushing through his head. Anyway, it was AJ Young doing. Wait a minute! Uh. And, uh, what a DDT from AJ Young! Now wait, what's he doing? Oh come on! Oh don't you can't start. you can't condone this. Okay, so Sean Stevens can hit AJ Young into the cage how many times? But you're exposing the steel. Oh no, that's terrible. Wait a minute. Sean Stevens with a Muso missing the Marcus. AJ Young wisely moving out of the way. And I'll wait until oh, right into that exposed turnbuckle. Remember, it was an exposed turnbuckle that started all of this. If you remember correctly, on the first edition of GZW Attitude, AJ Young and Sean Stevens were the final two in the Battle Royal to determine the first ever GZW champion. Jesus 
one in Enzakiri. The turn for the first ever DZW champion. And AJ Young decided to resort to questionable tactics. Introduced an explosive <laughs> buckle into the match. That backfired on him. AJ Young ended up hitting himself back first into the exposed turnbuckle which led Sean Stevens to capitalize and eliminate him for the win but there's a 450 splash I think AJ's getting too caught up in the moment here he should have just climbed you know this is a steel cage match remember guys instead he tried to go for something flashy tried to prove his superiority and it cost him and the other thing 450 splash that's also what continued this because there was a 450 splash that won AJ Young the DZW title and this super oh. kick may make him lose it straight on the jaw and Sean oh. Davis is just crawling up at this point and all right, AJ Young is back up and ladies and gentlemen this match this match has been mostly Sean Stevens you know AJ Young showing the tenacity has kept that belt around his waist. He will not stay down. Gotta give him his juve. And oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's the elbow that we've seen constantly and consistently from AJ Young. Remember, you can't put anybody in a sharpshooter. You can't put anybody in a lion tamer. This is strictly about escaping. This is strictly about surviving. And that is what both of these men have done. AJ Young through underhanded tactics. Tactics. Mm, John yeah, Stevens yeah. through pure will. Underhand tactics. What underhand tactics exactly? Is Let's this see. a? Is this or is this not a no disqualification match? This is a no disqualification match. Exactly. But at the so same what, time, in the past, AJ Young has used regular matches to his advantage. Let's see. He's been disqualified against Brett Fortune due to interference. Just saving his, his body for bigger matches. He's defeated Travis Killing to retain the DCW title due to interference. He it's won the DCW title due to interference. Just using the resources at hand. If, as a matter of fact, wait a minute. AJ Young also beat Michael Stone due to interference. Most of, if not all, of AJ Young's wins have come due to interference. So he definitely has something to prove here tonight. Can he prove that he can be an honorable champion? So at least he has nothing to prove. Degree. Nothing to prove here. He has been DCW champion for the longest time of anybody oh in this country. Oh my god, from the top rope. We might have killed AJ Young with that maneuver back first. How many people can say they've been DCW champion, huh? Huh? Two people. Exactly. How? Who's held that for the longest? AJ Young by a mile, exactly. I will admit. So he has nothing to prove. At the same time, there's been a lot of doubt cast upon his reign. AJ Young has been in control of this company for part of his reign. AJ Young has used every dirty trick in the book to hold on to that DCW title. And Sean Stevens has tried to fight honorably. He has tried to fight his way back. Where does honor get you? Nowhere. We'll see it tonight when Sean Stevens is not the one climbing that cage and planting his feet on the mat. You just have no hope. Sean Stevens, nope. Stevens has been in control for most of this matchup. I don't know what you're watching. He's been in control. Has he climbed up the cage? Has he escaped the cage yet? No. Yeah, AJ Young is way further behind him in escaping the cage than Sean Stevens is. He is beating AJ Young from pillar to post. It doesn't matter if he's beating him to pillar to post. It Look only at matters these kicks. Who comes out as champion? And right now, Sean Stevens is wasting time here, kicking AJ Young. Speaking of wasting time, it was AJ. Y'all doing it? Missing that big knee. And this a rolling elbow. <laughs> and what a knee from AJ Young. And wait a minute. Uh, this is a knee right to the face. And AJ Young going right into the face. Y'all to bust Sean Stevens open. And Sean Stevens. Has yeah, not tip dropped tip him out of blood. Tip for tat. Sean Stevens busts open AJ. AJ busts open Sean Stevens. I mean, that play is fair enough. But at the same time, AJ Young finally mounting some offense. Finally mounting some offense. Like he hasn't got any offense in this match before. Well, I mean, he has. But this matchup has been mostly Sean Stevens. Oh, wait. He's going for that DDT for the third time. Exactly. Third time. I think you're no, selling AJ. 
This could end up Short very hit. bad. This could be very bad. Sorry to cut you off. Wait a minute. Oh, would you look at that? The young disaster. Hey, wait a minute. We could be seeing AJ Young retain the DZW title. Sean Stevens has not moved. Come on, Sean. I'm afraid this match is over. A AJ, AJ, move wait it. Wait a minute. Move it. Wait a minute. Sean Stevens is climbing up. No. What the hell? What the hell? What? No. No. Oh, my God. God! My God! This match could very well be over for AJ Young. Again, Sean Stevens is dead of doing the smart thing and climbing out. It's concentrating and trying to beat AJ Young up. But he would have had to make a beeline for the top of that cage if he allowed AJ Young to keep climbing. Sean Stevens has been dealing nothing but punishment to AJ Young in this matchup. AJ Young, oh my god, what a Did you say that? Yeah, stiff super kick of his own now. Oh, just, just deadlift. Deadlift German suplex. No, AJ Young is complete controlling. But kick to the mid section. You want to talk about Sean you want to talk about Sean Stevens having complete control of his AJ Young, your DZW champion. He's finally arrived in this match and he's gonna go to town on Sean Stevens' face. There's a blockbuster from AJ Young. And, and now in control of this matchup. AJ Young controlling this. And you gotta you gotta think. Something's gotta give here. Both of these men are taking a lot of punishment. AJ Young just recently took a nasty fall. From the top of the cage. Well, so does Stevens. That's thing. AJ Young has to start moving more methodically. And oh my god! He's freeing the beast all over the back of Sean Stevens' head. But at the mm. same time, you gotta think that as this match goes on, who is he really benefiting? Well, you see, you, you're gonna say it's benefiting Sean Stevens because he hasn't taken as much punishment. Well, I, I was going to say it wasn't benefiting either, man. Oh, really? Oh, look, I'm biased. Cage is a very dangerous structure. Wait, oh, wait a minute. Oh. Wait, wait. What, the, what was he? What oh, the? my <laughs> God! Oh. He was going for a reverse Death Valley driver, but purposely what, landed what, what? Johnson. Wait a minute! How in the blue hell did he get off? Johnson was landing on his neck, getting up to hit AJ Young with a mean and vicious elbow. You guys made out of freaking steel. Because cause they're surviving some stuff that no normal human should be able to take. Wait a minute, we haven't seen this in this match. We haven't seen this yet. Redemption Road. Is, is that going to do it? Oh, you can see AJ just trying to rub down his thigh muscle there. Is that going to hinder him? Will, will, will AJ Young make it to the top? Wait, Sean Stevens right on his tail. I mean, AJ Young going to prepare to take another nasty fall. Are you trying to say AJ Young's a monkey? He's got a tail? God. I'm not trying to say that at all. But at the same time, how much more punishment can AJ Young take? Well, you know, we were saying that about Tyron. Tyron. <laughs> we were saying that about killings earlier tonight. Look how that turned out. It's exciting, but at the same time, these men are inside a steel cage. The possibilities are endless, and another super kick. How many is that now? Maybe three or four. I don't know. I've lost count. Wait a minute. What's Sean Stevens doing? I mean, he's got something in mind here. Last time he tried to move over here, it busted oh. open the cage door. Oh. oh. Oh my God! German suplex. From the top you, rope. You can see the fans are standing on their feet now. They are loving this match. And there's a moonsault. John Stevens emptying his repertoire against just, AJ Young. He's just throwing everything at him. Now we just need him to use a kitchen sink, and I, uh, you know, don't have to say that. John Stevens, this might be Sean Stevens' last gasp. And wait a minute, he's gonna keep it all off with the Fisherman Buster! AJ, yeah, I think 
The cager's out. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, no. Steve is calling for it. He's gonna add injury to injury. Injury to injury. And there's another fisherman buster. You see AJ's breathing has come a bit shallow. I think, I think he's on his last legs, Bob. He's on his back at the moment, actually. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. The lights are out. Did somebody forget to pay the electric bill? Not the lights again. Oh, you you got to be kidding. Wait a minute. Oh, That's look Sean at Walsh these. Ryan Carroll. Look at these bastards. Look at those freaking bastards. Wait a minute. Sean, don't do it. Sean. You oh fool. Oh, my God. If you just touched the ground and ran, you would have been champion. But think about this. Sean Davis would have had a rather nasty fall either way. And now AJ Young gonna capitalize with a young That's disaster. If you need to take a little pain to become DZW champion, then you take it. And now, oh, come on. This is all called for fate. AJ Young making sure to cap it off of the redemption road. Charles Hills would have had a nasty fall regardless of what he had taken. And even if he had climbed down, I don't think Sean Walsh would let him climb down. And now AJ Young slowly but surely climbing. No, not this way. And now Sean Stevens is left inside the cage and now Sean Stevens making a beeline for the cage but AJ Young is already on his way down no not <laughs> like this no look at that why intelligent why? friends you can say why all you want AJ Young outsmarted Sean Stevens Sean Stevens thought he had the advantage with that steel cage no AJ Young thought of a way around it and he is still your DZW champion and rightly so Sean Stevens continues his slump against AJ Young. That might have been Sean Stevens' last opportunity. But thanks to those bastards, Sean Walsh and Ryan Carroll, they were banned from DZW. Why are they here? How are they here? Ladies and gentlemen, there's so many questions to answer. But the story is AJ Young is still your DZW champion.